Multilayer networks are a new paradigm that expands a generalized network theory. Within this approach, we can highlight the so-called temporal networks, which allow us to analyze how interactions between the components of a dynamic system change over time. The microbiota of the digestive tract it's an example of a dynamic system because the bacteria communities are constantly exposed to a variable environment that alters how the bacteria relate to each other and the host tissues. However, it has been observed that despite the changing nature of the surrounding conditions, the proportions between the bacteria populations tend to remain stable for a long period. Significant alterations between these populations are usually associated with disease episodes, a dysbiosis phenomenon. In the present study, two databases of the succinct package of the R language were analyzed corresponding to the time series of the microbiota of two subjects. The first of which, referred as subject A, made a trip during which he changed his diet, suffering as a consequence two episodes of diarrhea. On his part, subject B experienced salmonella poisoning. The data corresponding to the periods of sickness was separated from the baseline periods, during which the patients did not present a clinical picture Different inference algorithms were used to build coabundance networks that would allow us to recognize possible correlations between the populations of the bacteria genera found in the samples throughout the period in which they were collected. Using the R programming language, we built temporal networks that will allow us to analyze the evolution of the architecture of the different lions corresponding to the basal and dyspecid periods in chronological order. The importance of genera in the networks was analyzed using different measures of centrality and identifying bacteria communities within the networks using different clustering algorithms. The proportions of the field between layers were also analyzed using the time series data. The decrease in the proportion of firmicutes to the treatment of bacteria that is during the period of dysbiosis, in addition to the increase in protein bacteria, could be related to inflammatory processes during infection, associated with the decrease in small chain fatty acid producing bacteria. A proliferation of Escherichia was identified in subject B, which could be the cause of the patient's clinical picture, as it is shown in the case of Salmonella in subject A. The presence of highly interconnected communities of Hermicutes and Proteobacteria during periods of sickness suggests a possible change in the population dynamics when this biasis occurs. The composition analysis of the communities revealed that bacteria with related or phylogenetically close metabolic activities are more likely to be found in the same community. However, after the period of this biosis, the topological characteristics of the network get a similar state to the initial period. It suggests that the system tends to a dynamical equilibrium even after suffering an external perturbation. The analysis on the composition of the communities revealed that the bacteria with related or phylogenetically close metabolic activities are more likely to be found in the same cluster, which suggests that, after all, these bacteria could interact through metabolites and regulate each other's population. Dysbiosis can significantly alter the relative abundances of the bacterial toxin that make up the microbiota, as well as the relationships between bacteria populations and the composition of the communities. This alteration seems to be strongly associated with the appearance of gastrointestinal diseases. However, the results also say that even after a perturbation, the system is robust to reestablish its dynamics after a period.